Jonah, what's the most important piece of artwork you think you'll ever make? My answer, myself. Good morning and happy Sunday, Jonah. It is May 31st. I can't believe it's literally about to be June. That's so crazy. Jonah, I hope my cold open wasn't too cheesy for you, but I am dead serious. For me personally, I feel like the most important thing I'm ever going to make is myself. And you know, I don't wanna sit here and talk about how I'm a self-made man because I'm not. I am the product of so many people's investment in time and community. Um, and I am literally just trying to live my life as best I can according to those that I respect and trust and value my life. And I take, you know, who I am as a culmination of all those things. With that being said, I do feel like I have a personal duty and a lifelong goal of trying to produce the best version of myself that I can be. Let me tell you, it's not easy. I, like everyone else, have plenty of flaws that I don't even know I have until somebody points them out. And sometimes it can be earth shattering, and other times it's, uh, it's nice to see that there's somewhere to grow because when you feel like you don't know where to put your attention and energy, it does get frustrating. So sometimes knowing where you have places to improve is actually quite nice. And at the end of the day, self mastery and work on yourself is going to make you a happier person in general. Now, how does this pertain to art and creativity? I know that might seem a little high level, but I was just thinking a lot over this weekend and I spoke to my therapist who you know, George. Uh, I was speaking to George and um, I just thought a lot about like the work that I have done, the work that I have to do, and really just trying to think about how that pertains to artwork and creativity. Well, really simply put, I just feel like when I clear my mind, when I'm able to focus very purely on my task at hand, on the challenges in front of me, I feel like I'm able to concentrate a lot more. And what that tells me is that the more in order my own home is, not just literally, but you know, mentally, that I'm able to give my energy and willpower and passion, you know, as freely and openly as possible. I believe so strongly that being a good person is paramount to being a good artist. Now there are plenty of amazing artists that were total a-holes, I mean, for sure. But I just mean that for me personally, the artwork that I think is the best is actually artwork that sort of transcends an individual piece. It's artwork that actually creates community, creates conversation, and creates a meaning that transcends time. You know, and sometimes pieces of artwork, you know, especially, you know, uh, classic artwork are, you know, they, they have that ability. But I feel like in the era that we're in now with so much communication and connectivity that we have an ability to produce artwork that transcends an individual piece and is more about driving a larger question and a bigger conversation. I feel like the better person I am, the more work and self-mastery that I pursue, the better that artwork will be. And I keep using that phrase self-mastery and it's really important to me because I feel like um, I am my own worst enemy and I feel like most of us are that way. And so for me, I need to get control over myself. To cultivate willpower and drive, it's something that doesn't come naturally. I am quite a lazy person in some regards. I, I want to find the easiest path and, and make that work. But at the same time, I'm also incredibly hardworking, so I'm willing to slog it out if I have to. And I want to put more focus and energy into balancing those two, where I'm able to manage my time wisely, but also to be able to work hard when the time is called for. And overall, I think I do a pretty good job of that. But as I said, there's a lot of work to do. I don't want to talk too much about this. Maybe I'll do a whole episode on what I think self-mastery means as an artist. Um, and I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. What has helped you as an artist in terms of mastering yourself and how has it made you and your artwork better? I'd love to know. And that goes for you guys at home too. It's been nice to see people commenting. I love that. Um, and I can't wait to see more of it. If you haven't already done so, please remember to like and subscribe to the channel. It seriously helps us out. We're trying really hard by the end of the year to try to make YouTube partner status. So anything you can do to help us is incredible. But with that, I'm going to leave you time to think about that. And I'd love to hear your answers. Jonah, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow and I'm going to let you go. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and I will see you tomorrow. Stay creative.